Да? Thank you all. Thanks, Todd. For, thank you guys for coming and for do, doing this. You know, I, I, I was on the board for four years, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, I wrote a number of editorials about this. This is a, an issue near and dear to my heart, so thank you all for being here. Uh, I, it's a reminder of, of a story that really just epitomizes how important this is to my profession, but just to the whole community at large. There's a drug you guys may have heard of called Diprovan, or, or um, uh, uh, Diprovan, and uh, I can't think of the name of the trade name of the drug, but it's the drug that they use. Michael Jackson died and had to take propofol. That's the name of the, 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 the drug. So it's a fantastic drug. In the hands of a trained professional, we use it all the time. Anesthesiologists use it. 100% of their cases. It is one of the safest and best drugs you, you, can, you can use. Very, very little side effects. It's easy on, easy off. It's a great anesthetic. Well, there was a, a group out in Arizona that was using this drug, and apparently it comes in large vials, and you're only supposed to use it on one patient. Well, they were breaking the rules, and they were taking out some drug, administering it to a patient, contaminating the vial again with the blood from the first patient, using it on the next patient, whatever, so and so. Somebody contracted hepatitis C. Now clearly this is a case of real malpractice. I'm not going to argue that absolutely 100%. They shouldn't have done that. Everybody knows that's not right. That is malpractice. And I would never argue that. Guess who got sued for doing this? The, the drug manufacturers. $500 million punitive damage verdict against Baxter and um, Teva, which is the, the manufacturer. Baxter is the distributor. $500 million punitive damages. $5 million uh, compensatory damage for actual economic losses, $500 million punitive. The day after that verdict came down, guess what the drug manufacturer said? We're not going to manufacture Diprovan anymore. The one of the safest and best drugs you can get is now no longer, it's, it's shortages throughout the entire country, the costs skyrocketed, of course. The only drug that you can get now, that D D Diprovan you can get, is from China that's not FDA approved. So do you think that's any safer than we were? Because some fool was using it incorrectly. Everybody gets punished for this. And the lawyers walk away with $250 million. So that whole thing just epitomized for me how important this issue really is because people are getting hurt by this. Now in the emergency room, for example, we can't get it anymore. We have to use less safe drugs. People are going to get hurt because of that. That's a real outcome that, you know, these things have real consequences. So thank you all for coming and for being here. This is a wonderful organization. Wholeheartedly support it. I'm happy to sign the pledge. I was a member of the board for for four years, and I'll do anything I can to help this organization. So thank you all for being here, and I'm sorry I was late. Okay. <laughs>